ain't got one yet, get a live wire. <laughs> Welcome to MCC Just Motos. Hey guys, it's Andy. I am at Rosedale Livewire, Holly Davidson, Baltimore. It is a demo day today. It's a super blustery, windy demo day. Uh, there's a whole bunch of riders coming out. Um, they are going to be riding all the different live wires that they have out there. They got the Del Mar, the Mulholland, the Livewire One, all sorts of stuff. I'm interested to see what people think about them, which ones they're going to pick and uh, what they all think. So let me go uh, show you what bikes we got and we'll go for uh, a, a, a quick ride and then also just talk to folks about it. So let's go see what the folks think about it and I'll go uh, show the bikes. Austin. Austin? Yep. What do you guys ride right now? I got a BMW S1000RR and a Triumph Speed Twin 1200. What do you ride? I got a Triumph Speed Triple RS. Alright, what did you guys ride today? Uh, I rode the Livewire 1 and the Livewire S2 Delmar. Same. Alright, what were your impressions on both bikes first off? Um, so this is the first time I've ridden, not the first electric I've ridden, but the first Livewire I've ridden. Um, very smooth power delivery. I found it very easy to ride once I got used to not using my clutch hand or the clutch foot. Um, I thought that uh, the Live Wire 1 is more comfortable, faster in a straight line. Um, for its size, I thought it did okay in the corners. Um, but it's a little heavier bike than I'd be looking at. Uh, I really liked the S2. Delmar Moore. Um, it's a little more nimble, flickable. Um, it's much more of a little hooligan bike. Uh, and while it's not as fast in a straight line as the one, it certainly is not a slow poke. You have no trouble verging onto a highway on it. So, yeah. And what are your thoughts? So, the original live wire that felt more similar to my, uh, my bike, the Tri uh, Triumph Speed Triple. Um, it's got great pickup, got a lot of go, uh, the options that it has. You got a chance during a red light to play around with the uh, infotainment system, and that thing's top notch. Uh, I found it very comfortable to ride, more my style. The Delmar, um, similar to his Speed Twin, is kind of what it felt like with the sit up and ride position. Um, it feels comfortable to, to, to sit on for too, too long, but uh, it's got. To be able to flip it back and just go, it's a very, very fun bike. Going around the turns, I felt more in control with that bike than I did. Uh, the live wire, a lot lighter, so that's probably why. Uh, it, that, the Delmar definitely felt a lot more nimble around the turns. Uh, I, th I think the uh, Delmar is uh, pretty much a bargain at its price point. Uh, yeah, 100% agree. And I, I think the one, uh, when they first came out with the Harley Davidson live wire, it was 30000 I thought that it was a bit of an ask. But now you've got basically the same bike for ten thousand less, and it's priced competitively right there with zeros. I, I think it's I think they're both great bikes for the money. I just think the Delmar is probably a better bike for the money. Uh, Delmar, even if the prices were the same, for me, um, my bike I feel is still faster, but I'm on a two hundred horsepower, four hundred pound liter bike. So it's definitely something you got to wind out at the top end, but you know. It'll, on a closed course, I've had it above 165. I know it'll do that. But, uh, yeah, try, I've gotten up to 140 on a closed course, and uh, that, that, bike, <laughs> that bike feels, uh, throttle response wise, that feels like you can just get up and go right from the start. Triumph is uh, pretty close to it, but it's, both bikes 
I mean, right from the get-go, you feel everything. There's no, you know, get you up to that RPM level where it finally takes you off. So, you know, I think that my bike usually jumps around like the four or 5,000 RPM spot. This bike just gets up and goes right from the start. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your thought. Thank you much. Live wire. Get a live wire. All right, we got you in the air. You guys rode some live wire, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We rode the live wire one and Delmar, right? Over yeah. the holler. So, apparently, I'm Suzuki Jetson 600. I ride a Kawasaki Vulcan 650, and I also ride a uh, Road King. I like the live wire one. It it was interesting. It was a little weird not having a clutch at first. However, but once I really started getting into it, it surprised me because we were riding uh, through some crosswinds. It was pretty heavy, pretty stable bike for it to be that light. Without a clutch, it was very uh, surprising, but I re overall I liked it, and uh, it's pretty good torque on the bike, and it's pretty lightweight. Yeah, yeah, I switched to the Mahalan, man. That, I like that one so much better. Technology updated, that was a more comfortable ride, I wasn't leaning as forward. And you can tell that it was a lot better, and they made significant improvements as compared to the Live yeah. Wild One. It was definitely like a more aggressive, sporty feel to me. Yeah. And then, I, but it wasn't as much strain. I wasn't leaning as far forward, but the technology just on the bike and everything, and the instant torque and that thing, mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, right. yeah. What, what looks do you like better? I like the Mohawk. Yeah. Well, 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 okay. Yeah. All right. And, if, and what's the price? Like it was what four, fourteen, fifty thousand, sixty thousand. What do you guys think the price? Yeah, yeah. Quality bike for a quality price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You guys ready to trade on up? Nah. <laughs> Not yet. Not All right, guys, super windy um, demo day for Livewire. There's a lot of folks coming out. Uh, just talked to a few of them and got their impressions. Uh, you can see another Maryland motorcycle vlogger. That's Bobby Miller 3. Uh, Bobby, say hi. He says hi. <laughs> cool. All right, check out Tuesdale Livewire, Harley Davidson, Baltimore, Baltimore Power Sports. Uh, hopefully everyone had a good time at Demo Day and we'll uh, catch you in the next episode. Please like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you.